Hello and welcome to The Forgotten Golfer. Today, we're gonna to talk about a takeaway that is so simple. I see people, this is how you take it away, that's how you take it away. Nobody can beat this one. And the greatest news is, this is from the 1970s. It was either Golf Magazine or Golf Digest. I believe the pro was either Bob Tosky or another guy, Paul Harney. Do you remember him? I don't know what it was, but it was a whole little series of articles trying to teach a guy who had never golfed before how to golf, how to swing the club. And of course, he went over the grip and everything, the stance and the posture. And this particular article that I remember as a youth is the easiest way to think of the takeaway. And it's so simple, it'll blow your mind. I have since incorporated it into my own game and not only am i getting a little extra distance with it and i'll tell you why it's an automatic inside out swing you'll get an instant draw with this so if you're having slicing problems this will even help that but back then it was just a simpler game that's why i started this channel and when we come back i will teach you a simple takeaway for seniors is going to be my caption, but also for beginners. Simpler than I showed you, and that was pretty simple. Well, come on back, and we'll get right to it. So, of course, the pro went over with the guy, proper grip and proper stance, a wreck stance, try to keep the back as straight as possible, but that hurts me. And he said to the guy, get over the ball. Now, this is a guy who had never swung a club before in his life. This was his first swinging lesson. And this is what advice he was giving for the takeaway. He said, get over, dress the ball inside your left foot, good posture, head up, just like this, arms loose, relaxed. And then all of a sudden he said, okay, give me the club. And the guy said, what? Give me the club, just the club head without moving your posture. And that's all he did, gave him the club. He says, that's it? Yeah, that's the takeaway, give me the club. What? Let's see that again. Give me the club. Here, take it. Stand, stood right in back of him. It was as if he was a baseball player and the pro was a catcher. He says, give me the club. Okay, here. Now, if we straighten out, we see we haven't broken the wrist, so it's not, it's not, oh, here, or oh, here. And notice, with this simple technique of give me the club, what your shoulders are doing. Starting the shoulders immediately into rotation. That's why I'm getting extra distance. My shoulder turn has improved by just getting them turning. And my weight, we're forming the crease back here for the pivot. My weight is easily going to my back foot. I have to play with things a little bit. This isn't a magic genie tip. I like, because I'm old school, I like an open face club. I mean with the toe in the air because I'm left hand dominant. I'm really left handed. Uh, when I started playing golf, so few people were playing that, you know, I didn't know any different. My father had right-handed clubs. I grabbed his right-handed clubs and I started swinging right-handed, not giving it a thought. So I have the automatic 
dominant left pull. So I don't mind my club opening up on the takeaway. Some people will. Some people say, geez, I really, I really want it more like this down. Well, think if you need that, if that makes your day, if that makes your boat float, do it. Give me the club. It's the same thing. Your, your arms, are, your shoulders are still turning. Now, I just saw one of the top teachers on YouTube give a tip that was also around at that time. And it was basically take your left shoulder and turn it right down to your right foot. That gives you a good shoulder turn. That's how you take the club. Well, I can't do that anymore. I don't have that kind of flexibility. I used to have that kind of flexibility, but I don't anymore. In fact, take a look at this photo. I'll show you what kind of flexibility I had at uh, 18 years old or 17 years old. Not bad for flexibility, huh? Can't do that anymore. I wish I could, but now it's just nice and easy. Hand me the club, right? Without breaking the wrist, hand me the club, break the wrists, come down and hit the ball. Simple as that. Simple as that. Hand me the club. Now, suppose you're not feeling comfortable, meaning you don't get you're not getting the weight right. Well, make sure you're not caving your back leg. Make sure you're keeping your pivot. Because we're turning. This is turning. This is turning. We're turning. We're turning the top. It's this way. It's not this way. This way you get the slice. This way you get the inside out hook shot. Let me do it again. You can try to start it without moving the bottom if you have to, to get more legs into it. But basically, hand me the club. That was a rocket. And that's how you'll hit them too. It's so simple. Hand me the club, huh? Hand me the club. Okay. Look at the shoulder move. Hand me the club. Starts the shoulders. And I would have to say the most two important things you need to get most of your errors out of your game or your swing is the address position, number one, and the takeaway, number two. You get those two things in line, and boy, will you improve fast. Okay, now I can make one last point before I go, because I know not everybody, if you're more advanced, and maybe you're playing a, a cut shot, right? Doesn't matter. If you're playing a cut shot, you just open it up, like Lichavena, now you don't take it in here, you take it out here. It's a little different. You got you to go with how your shoulders, remember we said in that one video, you aim with your shoulders, well it's the same thing. You put the club face at the target, but when you give the club back, it's out here. And then you come in and hit the cut shot. that little fade and conversely if you want to hit the hook you're closing the stance keeping the club face at the target and then you're taking it in here and that's more of a hook or a low shot if you hit it low into the wind close your stance don't put your hands ahead of the ball, but this is where you go. Give me the club. You're giving it back here to the guy. 
because you're, you're, you're following the line of your stance, keeping everything compact in here. And you're hitting a hook shot. It's not that difficult. Now remember, I'm thinking of all these things today. Remember, being compact in here really helps to turn the shoulders. You don't want to be leaning out here, right, for the ball. It's harder to do. Keep it compact, armpits in, and just give me the club. And they'll say, who the heck are you taking lessons from, my friend? You don't have to tell them if you don't want to.